first location film project was an ambitious feature-length musical adaptation of the classic fairy tale Rumpelstiltskin. It began production in January of 1973, shot over the next two years, then spent nearly seven years raising the money to complete post-production. By imperial decree of his joyous majesty, no note of doom, no look of gloom, no naughty frown in this fair town can stay. This happy morn, this happy day. Happy morning, happy day. Time for fun and time for play. Dance to love and eat and sing. Make the trees and castle ring. Happy morning, happy day. As the film and television emphasis began to emerge within the communications department, a group of students formed the film club through the associated student body and produced projects in Super 8 millimeter film. My name is Phil Noir. I'm a private detective. I came to the office that morning and found a new file on my desk. Something told me this wouldn't be a routine case. I was supposed to track down and apprehend a beautiful woman this time. I'd done that on occasion before and it always meant trouble. But I was ready for trouble. I was ready for anything that meant getting out of the office. Producing an interterm location film or video project on a yearly basis began in 1983 when over 30 students spent their January camping out in Death Valley during the production of the post-apocalyptic The Cocktail Party.
Glad to see you finally changed. Summerstock, the continuing story of young men and women struggling to make it in the fast-paced world of show business and learning the many lessons life teaches them as they grow. This is the story of their lives, their struggles, their defeats, and their victories.
Location projects have taken Chapman students to exotic and interesting places, including Cabo San Lucas on the southern tip of the Baja Peninsula. The settings for this film included Karen Carpenter's vacation home, which overlooked the majestic bay. I want you to understand, senorita, how much trouble you have cost us. I brought you what you want. I trust they are in good condition. Of course. And? And you give him to me. Now, why should I do that? Because you don't know where the plate is. I can find out in time. Do you think there's people over there? No. I think I recognize that little girl. I think she's one of those um, missing children. Oh, right. And the guy with her is son of Sam. Listen, I'm positive I've seen that girl on a milk carton before. Really? Which brand? I knew you weren't going to believe me, but I don't care. I'm going to call the police. Don't look now, Nancy Drew, but Son of Sam and Lucy Lucerne are making a clean getaway. Well, let's follow them. What? Do you or do you not want half the reward? Hurry, I can't even see them anymore. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. What's that? Of what? Your new poem. How did you know? <laughs> it, it's about two foot. Let's hear it. It was a cold December day. Oh, my God. What the hell are you doing, you bloody fool? He's the enemy, isn't he? No! No! 
the first Chapman project to obtain international distribution was Without Consent, a film that deals with the sensitive issue of date rape. didn't seem to notice that Michael did, and he started to wonder what exactly he had gotten himself into. When they got to April's house, Michael, being a gentleman, walked around to open the door for her. When he got there, he was gone. Vanished. She disappeared into the air, as though she was never there. The film and television department entered into a co-production with the Anti-Defamation League to produce Shadows Between Friends, a film that deals with ethnic prejudice. The ADL now distributes this film nationwide okay. to schools and libraries. It's about time. May I help you, please? Yeah, I think I'll have a, a Big Mac. Yeah, I'd like a Big Mac, too. No pickles. And a large Coke and a large order of fries. Yeah, I'd like a large Coke, too. We're here to go. We're here. That comes to 643, please. 643. Well, I have... I have two Big Macs. And... No, 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 no. My order is separate. I only told you about my order because I want to get mine at the same time he gets his. What's going on here, Teresa? I'm sorry, sir. I can't do this. It's too confusing. We all talk at the same time. How come a corporation like this hires people who don't understand the language? This is America. We speak English here. Yeah. 
Even if she could speak perfect English, it would be almost impossible for her not to make a mistake. And you guys are all talking at the same time. I'll take your order, Teresa. And you help me get it ready, okay? Could you please repeat your order? A Big Mac, large order of fries, and a large Coke. When I heard that the poor little thing had been taken ill, and the doctor called, I fear the worst. The doctor is with her now. She has a terrible fever. I really must get back with this it's medicine. It's It's like a pledge. No more, Nia. It's all over the quarter. Three people died in McDougall Street. One is this, uh, the outer smaller. What's her name? Uh, Jenny Given. I know her. She posed for me many times. Mm -hmm. And then there was this um, cocktail stand I'm on it. I'm sorry, I really must go. Oh, thanks, John, for my best. She'll need it. How's it going, Bill? It's not good, I see. Man, this is this ever pathetic? You really let it go this time. Might as well forget about it now. F forget? Yeah. You're never going to get it done in time. Might as well let him take you to jail. My cousin didn't get his in on time. <laughs> they gave him two years. Hey. Maybe they'll give me your job. Higher Education was a four-episode series dealing with the life lessons learned by the students, faculty, and administrators at a fictional small Southern California university. President Knight, has the demonstration forced you to change your mind about the play? Excuse me, Mr. Sanchez, the president would like to make a statement. 
Good afternoon. It is our policy here at Eminence University to afford students a wide range of opportunities for creative expression. A play featuring student nudity is not one of them. Therefore, I stand by my decision. Adam Jacobson's play, The Lunar Lobotomy, will not be performed at this institution, no matter how many students stand naked on the fountain. I would encourage Mr. Jacobson to edit the play to make it more acceptable to the campus community. This concludes my statement. Thank you. Who defines what is acceptable? Pornography has no place at eminence. I think the majority of faculty and students agree with me. This is not about the First Amendment. It is an issue of school policy. We are a private institution. We make our own rules. 